Hello YouTube friends, this is Major, Major Honey, and I'm doing a little follow up on my swarms uh, in my backyard. They've been here for roughly around three days or so, it's time to move them to the main line. Typically when you do a swarm like that, you want to leave your box where you got the swarm at and give it, you know, three days and then you can move it to your main line. Today I have with me my son, Daniel. Say hey Daniel. He has volunteered to be my cameraman for this event. So we're going to move these to the line and do an inspection and change some um, frames out. And we'll be looking into them pretty deep today. So, Okay, we've got them moved down to my main line. And we've moved them here on this smaller bench. Swarms right here in the center. So I'm gonna look into them and see how they're doing real quick. And I'll put a feeder on them. This is some old frames I took out of another box to put in here for them. It just came off. They're working on some of the new foundation I put in there. Just looking to see if she's laying eggs and it looks like she is. If you can come in right here, you might be able to see them. But it looks like they're doing the they're getting started and doing their job. That's all I really need to look at right now. And All right, I've moved the larger swarm. In my previous video when I was catching the swarms, I showed you a big swarm, but I didn't get the capture on video the way I really wanted to. But this is the eight frame box that I put it in. And one of the important things to do is when you you need to have extra equipment on hand because I didn't have enough frames with foundation to put in here so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna take the frames out that I just put in here to hold the space right and then I'm gonna take them out and put and put a, the frames in with foundation so that's what I'm gonna do right now and I'll Give the camera to my cameraman Daniel here. And he's going to walk around to the back. You can stand back there and get a good shot. So I had a few frames, but I didn't have enough. So you can see how they're all linked together there. That's what they do when they're pulling, they're pulling wax down. They'll just link up on one another like that and 
you can see here this is their main brood chamber here they're really working it hard see look at there at the, they've already pulled that out I'm just gonna leave that that's so much of it there you knock some of these bees off see now that's roughly been three days you can see what they've done so far so I'm gonna leave that one This was some foundation that I had already, so. They're really working in. Another one that they pulled a, a lot on, a lot of it out on. So. This one they hadn't gotten that far on it, so I'm gonna save them the trouble. That's why it's so important to have gear ready to go when you need it. Sometimes it gets hard to do during this time of year when you got the season just started and you're using up all your supplies. But here's uh, some frames I did last night. I want to explain a little bit about this. I may have mentioned it in one of my other videos, but this is homemade foundation that uh, Eddie has a embossing machine and we, we refine our own wax and clean it and put it through an embossing machine and, and make our own wax. It's more organic that way. Now you can see the hair pins that's in here. So, and then I take and, and I brush wax on top of those and it puts a coat of wax on them and the bees like it better and they, they'll pull it out and you notice that I waxed in on the cleat bar right here. Waxed in on the cleat bar, right? On both sides. And that keeps, that fills all the cracks in. Now, I, and I do that because of small hive beetles and wax moths. Because if there's any little cracks in here, they can lay eggs in there and then that can cause issues for your hive so this helps the bees you know if they do it out here on the frame somewhere the bees can take care of it but sometimes they'll lay it in these small cracks and they don't know it until it's too late so i'm going to put these frames in here and put a feeder on it and i'll be finished with it for today we appreciate you watching this is Major with Major Honey, honey at computerstuff.us. Please share and like and subscribe. And we'll be back with you soon with another video. Thanks for watching.